Hi there. So today I'll be reviewing the Explorer line of men's products made by Badger Bomb. Here in Maine, Badger Bomb is considered a local company coming from Gilson, New Hampshire, which is still part of New England. That's why it's considered local. So I've been using the Badger Mustache Wax on and off for a few years. And I've also even tried the Badger Shave Soap a few times in the past. I feel like the Shave Soap has gotten a bad rap in a few reviews, so I decided I'd try a couple of other things in their line. Now there's a couple of reasons I like Badger Bomb. One, it's a local company, or considered a local company here in Maine, and I try to support local companies. Two, almost all of their products are organic. There are a few that aren't, but almost every single one of their products in the men's line have the USDA organic seal of approval. So that's great. You know that you're getting some quality products in your Badger Bomb with that organic seal. You're not going to get any, you know, um, parabens or anything like that in these products because it's natural. And the third is the Badger itself. I just happen to like the Badger. I think it's kind of a cute mascot. If it had been something like Granite State Men's Company or something along those lines and just had a, I don't know, the state of New Hampshire is their logo, something like that. Would I like Badger Bomb equally? No, but <laughs> that's okay. You know, I like it because the mascot's cool, it's local, and also you know what you're getting with those organic ingredients. So without further ado, you can follow me. We're kind of doing this backwards. I'm actually doing this after I did everything else, but um, follow me over to the bathroom. We'll wash our hair with, the, I'm gonna wash my hair with this shampoo bar. Then I use the pre-shave oil. I'm gonna shave with the shaving soap. Use this aftershave oil at the end. Do my mustache with this badger mustache wax. And then finally we're gonna finish it off with the hair pomade. So that's how you'll get this natural badger look. Everything I've done right now, I've done with the products you see right in front of you. So, let's get to the review. All right, so we're going to try this a little bit backwards. I'm going to use this Badger shampoo bar in the sink here because <laughs> no chance you're gonna see me in the shower. And then after that, I'll record myself having come out of the shower and we'll do the review on the shave soap mustache, wax, aftershave, etc. But in the meantime, we're first going to start off with this shampoo bar. Now this is the first time I've used this bar. And the aroma is very clearly first a bergamot and then cardamom. There's a little bit of that badger vanilla in there that you'll get later on with the mustache wax, but it's definitely taken a back burner to the bergamot, which is the top note to this shampoo bar. Let's give it a try. It's been a long time since I've done this. Now this could also be good for if you're at a campsite. I'm just lathering this in my hands here. Oh yeah, there we go. Didn't seem to have any trouble lathering at all. Let's repeat. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's definitely definitely foaming up compared to the first slather. I'm almost getting that black pepper aroma that's at the bottom note of this, but it is in the recipe. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm rinsing, I'm getting black pepper, a little more black pepper vanilla on the rinse. So that's just with uh, having towel dried with the badger. I'll um, obviously hop in the shower and then we'll take this back up so we can do the shaving cream review and the mustache wax review next. But so far it feels clean, you know, and like it would have with the regular shampoo. It doesn't feel like it left a greasy residue or anything else. It just feels like... I've washed my hair and um, ready to go. Cool. So, lathered well, as you guys saw. It would be great to take to a campsite if you didn't have access to running water or you just had to take along like the smallest possible shampoo. And it worked well. All right. See you in a bit. Hi there. So, I've been out of the shower for about five minutes now. I just went and got dressed for the purposes of the video. And we're going to continue reviewing the Badger Explorer line of men's products. So next what we're going to try is this Badger Pre-Shave Oil. Now there's several different types of oil inside. There's olive oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, boab oil, sandalwood oil, cardamom seed oil, vetiver oil, black pepper oil, sunflower vitamin E, and then some extracts, sea buckthorn, vanilla, rose hips, and myrrh. Now when I use the pre-shave oil, I've only been using one drop. I've been trying this for about a, about a week or two now, so I could give an accurate review. Some things I've been trying for a little while, some things I'm just trying. All right, so you're gonna rub it between your hands, just kind of like that. Then you rub it right onto your face directly. In kind of a circular motion, but you wanna go with the grain of your beard. Now, I've left my beard for ooh, about five days now because I wanted to have a contrast, so to speak, for the video. And that's it. So you're going to let that sink in for maybe about 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'll wash up my hands. Just kind of get some of the grease off. Now the aroma is most prominently vanilla on this, which is very refreshing. And it's also got some bergamot underneath that. And you can also kind of smell the rosemary as well. So you're going to leave that right on your face, okay? You're not going to rinse off or anything like that. You're going to leave the pre-shave oil soaking. So while that's soaking in, I'm going to lather up my Badger Shave Soap. Now this has had kind of a bad rap online. I've seen a few reviews of this where people didn't like it, it didn't lather correctly, etc. But I haven't really had an issue. So I'm going to show you what I do. I just basically take it and hand lather. And I haven't had a problem with that. Just hand lathering like that.
That's sufficient. And I've been keeping this in a little bowl. Before I dry my hands, I'll just kind of add a little light layer. All right. Now it's time to apply. I apply this with back and forth motions because that's what my Simpson brush, which is what I use, I've been using a Simpson Commodore, says to do. It says to apply going back and forth, like using a paintbrush. Now, as with most natural soaps, this lather won't really last, but it will last on the brush, which is great. So you can always reapply it as needed. There we go. All right. Got my travel Gillette razor that was my grandfather's with a fresh feather blade inside. Let's see how it goes. Now I haven't used the Badger Shave Soap for a couple of years really, so I wanted to try it again. And when I used it last time I did not use it with the other Badger products, I just tried it on its own. And at the time I thought it was alright, but it was a little, a little drying at the time. So I think the nature of the pre-shave oil is to further lubricate the skin because this is gliding through much easier than I remember. I feel like the time I'm shaving this beard off, five day beard, um, has also been reduced by using the pre-shave oil. Both with this and with some other uh, shaving creams, I've been using it with the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street before this and I also tried it with um, the Shishido and it worked with those as well. So if you're Looking for just a good pre-shave oil, this could be used with anything. At this point in time, I might put it just a little extra. Just to smooth things up.
That small little nick almost always happens there with a new blade. I'm gonna take some cold water now and rinse off. Now, I'm not going to go against the grain today. I haven't really been going against the grain much. I've just been trying to just go down to save my blades since with the mask on, I, I really rarely need to be that clean shaven now. Uh, and visually, it doesn't look like I'm not shaved. If I, if I shave up, it makes a very little difference visually on camera or in a picture. Um, so I haven't been bothering to go up and um, wear down my blades, etc. But um, just for purposes to show you here, this is how much, there's still some left if I had wanted to um, shave against the grain. There's still enough soap left, which I'm gonna rinse out now, but there was still enough soap left easily for another round. So I'm just going to take a towel, kind of dry things off a bit. Next we're going to try this aftershave face oil. Now this is the first time I'm trying this out. I'm just going to take a small drop, like that much, rub it between my hands, dab it on. Prior to this, Badger had an aftershave tonic, which is witch hazel based. So I'm interested to see how this will feel. Okay, and in the aftershave face oil for oils you have sunflower seed oil as the top oil, baobab seed oil, bergamot oil, rosehip fruit, and sunflower vitamin E. So this has no vanilla in it, it's primarily bergamot. And you can get that, you get that Earl Grey tea smell right off of the bat. So I'm just going to take a towel again and dry off. Okay, so there's the shave. I'm going to go get the mustache wax, and we'll be right back. So, next we're gonna use the Badger mustache wax. Now, before I went in the shower, what I did was I took a pot of boiling water, and I put a plate on top of it after it finished boiling, took it off of heat, and then I take this Badger mustache wax and I put it onto the plate and let the heat kind of rise up and soften it. Now if you take a look here, you can see how hard this is. Now some people will, you know, it says in the directions to take your thumb, but let me tell you, if it's not heated up, you're going to be taking your thumb forever. And it won't hold nearly as well. You won't get nearly as much out and the hold will not be good. If you heat it up, you'll get more of a medium to hard hold. So, let's try it out. And I have been using this one for a while, a few months. And I feel like the formula did change from a year or two ago. It was a little, maybe, you know, more loose and also the bergamot was more prominent. This now has a vanilla scent right at the top note. And the vanilla is very prominent, so if you put a mask on afterwards, you're going to have a vanilla scent, which is very pleasant actually. So you're going to start here at the beginning of your mustache and work your two fingers down like that. And just keep putting your thumb back into the 
wax like that, rubbing it together. And when you get to the end, after initially kind of shaping it, you're going to twist and then go back again and twist and put a little right here so you can twist. And we'll repeat it on the other side. So you can see, I'll get a little closer. I can, I can see myself in the camera. See how I'm kind of starting in the middle and working my way down? That's better. Then I'll start twisting. It's already kind of hardening up. It's a bit cold today, I guess. Twisting. Twisting a little more. And that's that. Now I'll read the ingredients off because I forgot to initially. Um, it starts off with some castor seed oil, some beeswax, then you've got Babasan oil, shea butter, car and alba wax, which <laughs> we know is used in car wax, jojoba oil, bergamot peel oil, sunflower vitamin E, then the vanilla fruit extract. It's funny, it's still listing bergamot as the, uh, you know, above the uh, vanilla, but the vanilla is much, much more prominent than it was before. Before, definitely, I would say you had the Earl Grey tea scent like in the two other oils we saw, but, but it wasn't... Um, that, you know, powerful as it is now. So I have this little mustache comb now, made by Kent. You'll want to just kind of comb the center to tidy things up. It doesn't have to be with a Kent comb. It can really be with any type of fine-toothed comb. Okay, so that's the mustache portion done. Now we have one last thing to do, and that's the hair. Now Badger does also make a line of beard oil and beard balm, but since I don't have a beard, I didn't see the sense in buying those. And those would have been the only other two things part of the Explorer line. There is also a brush, a V-long horse hair shaving brush. Again, I didn't see the sense in buying a new shaving brush because the performance would probably be the same as the one I have, if not maybe worse, because I feel like I have a good brush. And a uh, shaving bowl, which I don't need because I have enough shaving bowls already. So again, the only other two were the uh, beard products, and I chose not to buy those because what would have been the point? Uh, so the last part is the hair. First, I'm just going to rinse off that wax. <laughs> From my fingertips. So the wax will take maybe one or two rinses to get off your fingertips from being sticky. And I'd recommend if you have it, um, use like a liquid-based soap because those tend to be a little bit harsher and they'll get the, um, you know, the grease, so to speak, or the oils off a little quicker. All right. All right, so the last part is going to be the Badger hair pomade. Now this is going to be maybe a light to medium hold. It's not going to give you the greaser look. It's not going to give you the Elvis look, any of that kind of stuff. It's just going to give you a nice, clean, and defined look. So the oils inside of this are Babasan oil first, beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, sunflower seed oil, bergamot peel oil, vetivert root extract, sandalwood for a scent, cardamom, black pepper and sunflower vitamin E, and then vanilla again. So this one you can get, you're getting, I'm getting a little vanilla at the bottom, but definitely getting the more citrus from the vetiver right away. And the bergamot, so the bergamot and the vetiver are blending, maybe giving it a little bit of a, like an oriental scent with the two citruses here. But it smells pretty good. So this you don't need to preheat. 
it's already fairly unctuous. And that's basically because a lot of it, I think, is coconut oil based, if you can see right here. That's, if you've ever used just plain coconut oil in its raw form, that's what it looks like. So I'm thinking that a good majority of this is coconut oil. So once you have a, a little bit initially, just take it in your hands, kind of rub it together till you feel it heating up. And then, as with any pomade, right, you're going to start at the roots and go to the tips. Work your way around the perimeter of your head, right? Then reach back, get a little more. As needed. If your hair is not as long as mine is right now, then you may not need as much. Or, or if you just want a very kind of defined look. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to do it slicked down, just to show you how it could look. So once you get the desired kind of consistency you want, you'll start to do what's called a top coat. So take a little, just a, a little, little bit extra, and start kind of combing it down, like that. Uh, now, most days, to tell you the truth, this is where I would kind of leave my hair. It doesn't look too bad, has some body. Not bad at all, but for the purposes, like I said again, of this video, we're gonna go all the way, do a full top coat. So I'm gonna keep pressing some more in, smoothing it out, shaping it. Great, now I'm gonna take a comb, and we're gonna comb through just normally. I do a side part, so First, I'll part my hair. And I'll comb it down. Also, um, I have been, you know, out of my hair, I did my hair before the shower, so obviously it's had some time to dry. Um, but it's still performing not too bad, actually. Great, so let's give it one more little top coat, then I'm going to take a um, boar hair brush and brush through. That's it. All right, so here's the finished look. But wait, let's change. Voila. Well, there's the finished look. We've got the mustache wax. We've shaved with the pre-shave oil, the shaving cream, and the aftershave oil. And I've done my hair with the Badger hair pomade. So I thank you for joining me. I hope this review is helpful. If it was, please leave a like below and consider subscribing if you wish. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.